Hey, it's Dave here. Um, I wanted to just uh, have a quick communication with you, let you in on some things that I've been considering and praying about, and I hope you will as well. But you know what I've been thinking about recently is uh, the Olive Garden restaurant. Now, not that I think that the Olive Garden is really great Italian food, uh, but they really have a market on their bottomless breadsticks. I mean, those things are awesome if you've ever been to the Olive Garden. Like, just the breadsticks and a glass of water could be a meal. Uh, but this isn't about the Olive Garden or even breadsticks, though we're going to circle back around to that. So if we can hang on to those idea of breadsticks for a moment, maybe set it aside. I've also been thinking about the Bible, Romans 2, 4. Romans chapter 2, verse 4. And what the Apostle Paul writes in Romans 2, 4, he makes note that it's God's kindness that leads to repentance. That it's the goodness, it's the mercy, it's the grace, it's the love of God that changes and transforms lives. And as a church, uh, my hope is that as a church, that we over this year, over 2023, we really wrap our hearts around the truth that we find in Romans 2, 4. The fact that it's the goodness of God, the love of God, the kindness of God that changes lives and changes culture. And one of the ways that we're going to engage in that, because as a church, we really value embracing the kingdom and engaging the, uh, the culture, is that we are going to serve our community. We're going to do it the Jesus way. You know what we find in the Bible is that Jesus changed lives. He made impact. The way he brought his kingdom was through, uh, through servanthood. That's what he modeled to us. That's what he showed us. So we're going to do it the Jesus way. And I think as a church, it's going to, I think that we'll like, our hearts will grow for Urbana and for Sham. Champaign County over and over. I think as we gain God's heart for others, uh, we'll see impact and change made in our neighborhood and in the world around us. One of the things that I love about the nature, about the character of God, is that what we see in the Bible, in fact, the Bible says his mercy and kindness, his, his mercy and grace like chase after us. We so often think that we sort of come to Jesus, that we come to the uh, to uh, salvation, that being born again and made new in Christ is something that we've kind of pursued and worked really hard at. And that is not what the Bible says at all. The Bible says that if you are a follower of Jesus, if you're a Christian, it's because you've responded to the grace of God, that you've responded to his incredible, generous grace. You know, I know a, um, I know a person who's really been touched, who's really been marked, who's really been shaped and transformed by God's grace, by how generous they are, whether it be generous with their time, with their relationship, generous with their money, whatever that is. Like, I know that's someone who really has been transformed by God's grace. And that's what we bring to our community. Uh, what we're going to do uh, in the month of March, so this month, we're going to serve our community in two ways. And I do hope that you'll pray really consider being a part of this. One, on Thursday, March 23rd at 7 p.m., we're going to meet at the church here and we're going to pray for our neighbors. We're going to pray for our community. Now, Shannon's going to, I think, lead up this effort and we're going to pray for different areas of our community. I believe that God will show us what to pray for and I believe he'll deposit in our heart. We'll like uh, Our hearts will be changed and made more look like the the generous, loving, grace-filled, um, abundant, merciful heart of God as we pray for our community. Do you know that uh, often that's what happens? Well, when we pray for others, we gain God's heart for them. So we're going to lean into the presence of God in prayer as a community 
Thursday, March 23rd at 7 p.m. I hope you'll join us. Then just a few days later, on Sunday, March 26th at 1 p.m. So uh, after service, you can go break for lunch or do it, you know, have some time in between. But we're going to come back to the church, and we are going to pack up some groceries, and we're going to we're going to demonstrate the gospel the Jesus way. We're going to visit some of those neighborhoods that we would have just prayed for a few days before. Before with with some staple goods, some groceries, and we're going to hand them out door to door, and just letting people know that God cares about them and that He loves them. And we'll have some information about our church if they'd like to follow up with us too. But it can be an incredible time of advancing the kingdom through compassion and through kindness. I'm really excited about it. And what I love about that, this is sort of where we're going to bring the breadsticks back in. One of the things that I do love about the Olive Garden breadsticks is that they're bottomless, right? They're like never ending. Um, Now, that's how God's grace is too. Like God's grace is so extravagant. We can't use up the grace. There's no such thing as, uh, as having too much grace. Like God's grace is bottomless. That's what we find, uh, you know, in the Bible and the character of God, that his love, his mercy, and his grace has no limits, no limits. And so what we're going to do is grow in mercy and grace as a church as we really wrap our hearts around Romans 2.4, that it's God. God's kindness that leads to repentance. It's God's kindness that transforms lives. It's through grace. It's through grace that lives are moved from darkness to hope, from darkness to light. That it's through God's love and his grace that lives um, that are um, hooked by the enemy come into freedom in Jesus, come into the loving embrace of Jesus Christ. Won't you join me that weekend? I hope you will.